What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use enums. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Okay, so an enumeration, also called as enum, is a data type that consists of a list of named values. And we can use this for many things, for example, setting a list of weapon types. And then in Unreal Engine, we can use this in Blueprint to say, okay, if we have this specific weapon type, as for example, ranged, uh, we can go ahead and do one thing or another super useful. So in order to create a new enum, we need to go to the content browser, right click and go to the blueprint section. And then here you can see we have this data type, which is an enumeration, also called enum in, in game dev. So let's select this, name this something as E underscore. And then in this example, let's do weapon types. So let's open this up. And as you can see, we can go ahead and create a new enumerator. And we essentially create a list of essentially display names, right? Like text, essentially. So for example, we can have the first weapon type, which will be of melee, right? Then we can create another one and it can be, for example, ranged. Then let's create another one like, I don't know, magical. And then we know we can create another one, which will be, for example, like, I don't know, medieval or whatever right? i'm just <laughs> i'm just adding some random weapon types okay this is just for example so if now we save as you can see we have this uh weapon types which consists of this amount of enumerators so now with this created i can go ahead and close this and let's open up a blueprint in this case let me just open up the third person blueprint just as an example okay so i'm here let's go to the event graph and what i'm going to do is create a new variable and this is going to be the current weapon type that our player would be equipping, right? So now we can set this variable type to be our E underscore weapon types. And now if I go ahead and compile with the variable selected in the DDO span, as you can see, we have this really nice drop down where we can select our current weapon type that our player will be equipped, right? So we can say, okay, so we right now i have the ranged weapon type or we have the magical or the medieval or the melee right whatever we want it's super easy to go ahead and select what weapon type we have with this little drop down that way we don't need to create like multiple um booleans and enable and disable each one or have like a boolean of a string and change the the string every time that doesn't make sense but an enum allows this to, to, to be super easy. So how do we implement this in the code? Well, let's say that, for example, when I press my left mouse button to attack, depending on each, you know, um, weapon type, I want to play a different attack animation. So let's right click and add the left mouse button. And let's just check what weapon type we have. So there's multiple ways to do this. The first way is to simply drag the current weapon type variable and do this equal enum and then we can have this drop down and be okay so if we have the ranged weapon type we add a branch and we do the following for example go ahead and add a print over here which will be like you know uh, play um play the ranged weapon uh, anim animation right or whatever you want which is super cool but there's a way better way to do this if you want multiple cases. If you, you just want to check for one case, like for example, if it's, you know, magical in this place of the code because you only want to check it, we can use the equal and the branch and so on. But there is a way better way to do this, which is to use the switch on and then the numerator, which is E weapon types. And this, as you can see, gives us this node with multiple outputs for each enumerator that we have on the enum. And depending on whatever value this is, so right now is melee, this will go through the melee ping and plug in into whatever output. So I can go ahead and just put, for example, ranged over here also, and then it will be, um, so it will be like play, you know, melee weapon and then ranged, right? Imagine this. So as you can see right now with my variable, I have the melee weapon type. So if I was to press play, right, and press the left mouse button, as you can see, I'm printing there in the corner, play melee weapon and name. But if I was to change the variable to be ranged, it would then go through the ranged output because of course that's the type 
that we have right now. As you can see, now we have play ranged weapon type. So this is super cool because depending on each output, we can do a different type of logic super easily with literally this variable, which again is like a drop down. Now, also, let's cover how you would, you know, change and update this variable. So it's super simple. You just drag it and then select the set node. And there we go. We can just go ahead and put magical over 31. So imagine instead of doing this, I would, you know, just simply set that variable to be like, you know, medieval or back to melee or whatever you want. Right. Super cool. Super simple. Straightforward. And I use this all the time. And you should use this also. Of course, this is not only for weapon types or item types. This can be used for a lot more things. So really, it's it's, it's you know what whatever you want. Um, but yeah, super cool. And Unreal Engine super fun because you literally have it as a little data asset. So you can open up and you have the UI and you add like an enumerator with a button and everything. Super cool. In other you know game engines and so on. Um, you need to like create the code for it with the syntax and everything, but Unreal makes it super easy, so that's one of the advantages. Anyway, with that said, guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos, time to tell, so check them out. Join my Discord server, check out my new ebook, link in the description. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.